Hey guys, sorry if I sound weird, I'm actually a little bit sick in the throat, but wanted to talk about the announcement of Rocket League going free to play. If you follow my channel, especially since when I worked at Free MMO Station, uh, you, you should know I like free to play games. I think it's awesome just being able to pick up and play a game with friends. That's it. Friends and family. I love it. <laughs> That's why I normally cover online games, MMOs, and mainly free to play games. So Rocket League is a game that I did cover one time because duh, it's Rocket League and it's fun and it's dumb, um, but it's actually really smart. However, it going free to play is definitely a big boon, I think. It's already super popular, but now it's just like the free to play, like fun couch kind of co-op and party game that anybody can play. Or it's more like nobody can play it. You see, the problem with Rocket League and also the reason why it's awesome is it's so hard to play that nobody's good at it. Or like the 1% that's good awesome it's a competitive game for them super cool but for everyone else it's uh it's mayhem it's chaos it's ridiculous now for me i definitely stopped playing it because i saw how much time i'd have to invest to get like really good at the game not that i was bad but like i don't know the game is a little stagnant for me personally i do like heroes and playing with lots of different characters i play mobas and mmos lots of classes new expansions and updates sure but if rocket league can go free to play and continue to evolve as like a service Obviously selling cosmetics and things like that and maybe having in more game modes and more silly party fun stuff That's gonna be really great and Rocket League's gonna last for like ever Anyways guys, so more details on actually this update Everything that you have your account will carry over to the free to play But also you're gonna get some goodies if you played before the announcement So all Rocket League branded DLC packs released before free to play you're gonna get that um, you're also going to get a special title. It's established 2000 something whenever, you know, the first year that you actually played Rocket League. You're also going to get 200 plus common items. They're going to be upgraded to legacy quality. You're also going to get the Golden Cosmos Boost, as well as the Diechi Oro Wheels, and also the Huntress Player Banner. Yeah, in addition, if you've played online before today's announcement, you will receive the Faded Cosmos Boost. Legacy rewards will be granted once the free-to-play version launches later this summer. So this is happening a little bit later in the summer, but this is going to be on all platforms. And this being a cross-platform game, it's just, it's ridiculous. It's, it's so fun. Now, there is one other little extra piece of information that a lot of people are not going to like, though, is that Rocket League is leaving Steam. It's leaving Steam, and it's going to the Epic Game Store. This has happened with a few titles that were Kickstarters mainly or crowdfunded games that promised to launch on Steam. Um, stuff like Spellbreak, uh, Dauntless, as well as maybe Diabotical. Actually, a lot of games. Um, Epic really snatched them up and was really trying to get a bunch of just free-to-play cross-platform games to just have like a front, just like a, a, an army of games. So where it's like, hey, whatever free-to-play jam you want to jam to, we got it, okay? So, I mean, what you got the Cycle, Spellbreak, yeah, the... Um, so many games really that are decent games they're all unique and fun games but still a lot of people really don't like the epic game store um, especially because they're taking it away from steam and honestly most people have steam and it's easy to launch on steam i'm gonna be frank um as much as i love fortnite and all those free epic games i've played none of them just because i always have steam open not the epic game store even though i literally use actually the unreal engine sometimes to play around in it i don't know I, I kind of, I just kind of get what you guys are, are feeling and vibing with. It's like, dude, Steam is like, that's where all the games are, you know? And we already have a bunch of launchers, maybe for an MMO here. Maybe you got the Origin launcher. It's just like, ah, oh my God, you know? So it is a little ridiculous, but it's still really exciting that this game is going free to play. It's a popular game. It's fun as a sport, but I think it really shines as a kind of community sort of silly party game. So again, they keep going free to play and keep going in this direction. I think it'll do very well, even more so than ever before. Obviously, it's free to play. More people can play it. So if you've never played Rocket League, definitely jump in whenever it goes free to play later this summer. So guys, what do you like about free to play games? Which free to play games are you jamming to? And which ones are you looking forward to? I'm looking actually towards High Res's new shooter. And um, yeah, I want to play Spellbreak and I want to play a bunch of those epic exclusives like Diabotical. So I'll be covering those, um, you know, as soon as I get better, better. But um, much love for the for the well thoughts and feelings, friends and family. I'll do my best. I'll rest and recover. But just wanted to shout out and keeping the hype alive. Much love. I will see you in the next one.